ready. What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back. It's your boy. I'm back. Yes. Um yes. We're getting back into Slam Dunk once again. The channel is still have its issues, but I cannot I thought I could probably wait it out to see what happens, but I, I can't. And the YouTube, I, I talk to YouTube, they tell me my channel is running the way it's intended to run notifications are fine and i'm trying to tell them no it's not fine because plenty of my subscribers are telling me they're not getting notification even me and my other account that subscribed to my channel is not getting notifications and they're still not fixing it so we're gonna truck on so whatever views i get is whatever views i get at this point i do youtube for the for the love of it um hoping that it can become something substantial um but the first and foremost thing why i do youtube is for the love of it um you know so i'm gonna keep trucking on put out a reaction maybe hopefully one day <laughs> the, the channel is fixed on their end and they realize it i don't know um what's going on um on on on, on that situation but we're gonna truck on you know we're gonna truck on so i've decided to just keep going um i never was um when it comes on to i was recording some reactions in the background but i never got to slam dunk so i'm starting that um today so we're gonna continue i'm gonna try to do a couple of super reactions for slam dunk uh maybe like drop about four four episodes per instead of two um i'm gonna do two today if i might decide to do four today but i'm not sure yet i'm still battling with my health guys so um just asking you guys to you know i mean you guys have already been great and supportive so um just continue to do that keep me in your prayers man i am dealing with what i'm dealing with it is um a struggle but it's not so much that i'm complaining you know what i mean like um you know i can't do things like i usually do anymore um not necessarily in the time that i spend doing reactions or anything like that but in terms of just on my daily routine and stuff like that um though i had to, i had to like switch up completely the way how i eat and and stuff like that so yeah <laughs> your boy is on some serious restrictions right now um so i'm watching um you know and i still can snack and stuff like that and and do i just can't eat like how i usually eat right so i had to change up a lot of that stuff so i am going to do a video um of an update on all of that but i know that's not what you guys are here for you're here to watch slam dunk with me so for those of you who have not <laughs> clicked off the video yet um thank you guys so much for all the love and support and for being patient with the channel and for sticking around because actually the channel is still growing while i wasn't putting out any videos so um hey there's you know for you know for people still watching people were still watching my videos and stuff like that comments and stuff for that was still coming in i still responded to um to some comments you know some comments were still very dumb <laughs> you know because it's youtube so you're still gonna have those people people are still disliking my videos and i'm like well, well. <laughs> you know like there's one or two people that just dislike all my videos i don't understand what i did or said to offend them <laughs> you know but anyways you're always gonna have detractors and haters it is what it is anyways let's jump into these reactions and i will see you guys for the review all right 
right, so I just watched four episodes of Slam Dunk. And we're back in the saddle once again, man. Uh, I enjoy this anime. You guys know this. You guys know I enjoy this anime very much. And um, I really do want to, like, go ahead and just keep going with this anime. That's not what I really want to say. But I'm, because I do my reviews off the cuff gonna sound weird sometimes <laughs> um so yeah man four episodes of slam dunk and we are playing against Rionan and it's it's to the point where I'm like okay I think it's gonna come everybody's kind of getting their time to shine like concerning the people who are on it I think we're gonna go through that for a little bit here until the end of this game um so yeah man I'm the situation that was happening with Akagi is is a it's not unique to him. Everybody goes through psychological blocks, um, whether it's during sports or just you know um, business in 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 life in general. You have these psychological blocks that you got to break through because they will keep you from doing things. They will keep you from executing whatever it is that you are doing it will keep you from executing that um for for a lot of reasons right for whatever reason it is so we all go through similar situations like that where something is just in the way or you're concentrating too much on something um to give you guys a a a, a simple example of a psychological um block very simple psychological block that i have to deal with now right so every day i have to check my blood sugar twice a day right because of this um i'm diabetic right so every time i'm supposed to do it i have to draw blood and i have to prick myself right i have to prick it to for the machine to take the blood sample to see if my you know check my my blood sugar levels right so every time i have to do it it's not that i'm scared to do it you know what i'm saying i just don't like sticking myself because i know what what's going to happen after so i'm kind of concentrating too much on what going after not being in the moment of i need to check my blood sugar you get what i'm saying i need to check it because i want to make sure that it's not off the charts like it was before so that's it's a psychological block because it's because it's like i don't want it because i don't want the pain that's going to happen after because you know what i'm saying like i'm thinking about all the repercussions of this i can't type on my keyboard properly because it's that i'm i have to i have to do it twice a day so it doesn't really give my finger time to heal before I have to really do it again. So it's like sometimes I'm sticking myself in the same place again. So I'm thinking of all those things instead of thinking of the fact that to do this, I have to I have to do this so that I can remain healthy and eat properly and stuff like that. So I have to constantly check it, right? So that's it's a simple psychological block. It's not a huge one but it's just an example of what psychological blocks can can do for you because it's like in, in this case where i'm thinking about the the the, the action after and not thinking about you know more of like I, I still end up doing it because it's a simple one to overcome because i know i have to do it so i'm looking at it like i have to do it so it's the same thing with akagi is like he knows he has to do this but he's like conscious like suppose i twist my ankle and i can never play basketball again suppose i aggravate the injury and then i can't play this for the rest of the game you're thinking about all those scenarios even though you know you have a job to do in the moment right now so we all go through those things in life man and you know what i'm saying some people might say i've never had a psychological block i overcome all the time and i never overthink anything and i'm awesome and i'm great and i'm a genius <laughs> sakuraki <laughs> right so you have people that you know that will say to you those stuff but trust me everybody goes through this it's a 
you know, some people might struggle with it more as some people might overcome quicker than some, but everybody goes through and have some sort of psychological block for something they've tried to do or whatever the situation is. Um, and you know, some people will tell you, Oh, I've always, I've always, um, approached every situation fearlessly. You know what I'm saying? Um, they've never experienced fear ever. They're awesome. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Some people will tell you that, you know what I'm saying? Um, but it's an ego thing. It's an ego thing. Everybody has goes through some level of fear for something in your life. And if you don't know what that is, or you haven't figured that out yet, it's coming. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's coming. Trust me. Uh, but um, I would say everybody or every human being has experienced some sort of fear for something during their life at some point, you know? Um, so that was the main thing about this. I, I like the fact that Sakuragi tried to help him out. You know what I'm saying? Um, they've always been at odds and you know, wake him up. He needed to wake up. He did. So we're on our way. We're on our way. We're playing good. The game is, um, you know, on the way. And we still haven't seen Sendo turn up yet. And I think his turn is going to come. His episode is going to come where he's turning up. Right now, they're concentrating on Fuku. Um, you know, I have no doubt that, you know, these rival characters... And, you know, and that's, it, it, it's one of the things that I love about Ippo so much. And the reason why Ippo is still my number one, I don't know how Attack on Titan ends yet. So I don't know if it's going to be my number one after, but it's, it's slid into that number two spot after how season four ended, um, season four part one, but for Ippo, the reason why, as in sports anime, the reason why I love Ippo so much, I mean, maybe you can make the army and say, Ippo, it's a lot easier to flesh out opponents, um, you know, but in team sports, it's a little bit harder because it's more, you get what I'm saying? It's more character. It, uh, in Ippo, is more, boxing is a, is a individual sport, so it's, it's easier to flesh out an opponent of Ippo or other characters in the show um, to flesh them out and give them tons of backstory information. Um, it's easier to do it. In Haikyuu, um, they flesh out more of the team, more um, Karasuno more than anything else. Um, but you still get a good feel for other, char for other characters in the show. They take their time and give them an episode or two to establish those characters like the 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 Mia twins i think they they were the Mia twins why right? if uh, i might be wrong the Mia twins um in the last game they played in at the end of season four um so when it comes on to fleshing out characters i think one of the things that slam dunk doesn't really do they give you an idea of what these other players go through but they don't really go as in-depth out as I would want them to it you know what I'm saying not to say that it takes anything away from the anime itself but I would love to for them would have been like if you're going to show Fuku getting on a roll give us some more backstory than just the coach talking about it like let us see what his work ethic was like let us see that I want to see that because that helps me to understand that character a lot better than just the coach telling me oh he was this or he was that you know what i'm saying like i'm just saying i'm not saying that it takes away from my enjoyment of the show i'm just saying for the, for for story purposes they could go there you know what i'm saying um but it is what it is i don't know what the manga was like they could be cutting all of that stuff short for whatever reason you know in the anime but we'll see how things go i'm enjoying this show that taking away anything from my enjoyment that's for sure um so when it comes on to what how the game is going right now um you know they they the game is going 
the game is going and i'm looking forward to watching some more episodes um i don't know i can't make any promises right now so the schedule is is basically out the window for now for the channel um until you know what i'm saying hopefully things get better when it comes on to the channel um and the notifications um because no matter what i no matter what these me putting out these videos and you guys not getting notifications immediately it hurts the channel channel is growing but at the same time it could have been growing more so we got to account for that but at the same time the channel is growing but it's based on previous content the new content gotta push the channel too so even if the old content is pushing the channel the new the new content gotta push the channel too as in new things that i do like i'm playing there's a lot of shows that i'm finishing up so there's a lot that i want to get started right there's a lot that i want to get started tv shows that i want to get started i can't start any tv shows right now because the channel is not where i want it where i want it to be as in with the notifications like i can't have notifications not working properly and start new shows it's absolutely ridiculous like me starting to watch a new tv show right now is 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 stupid and my notifications don't work because people out there that are you know not everybody on the channel right now is going to be interested in watching me watch what's next so there's new people got to come in so i can get those you know initial two three hundred views so people can say okay he's watching this i'm gonna be watching it with him and new people gotta come in from that show too that are looking for those specific show reactions so if notifications are not working and the algorithm is not pushing my videos like it's gonna hurt the channel so i don't want to harp, harp too much on that but any case guys thank you guys so much we're trucking on um and get in there and also guys remember i'm planning to do the, the manga after i after we're caught up with the anime i'm planning to do the manga um so i'm trying to get myself situ situated in a position where i can um where i can get back to my mom to reading manga again in berserk and um and ippo i'm trying to get back to it it's just taking some some time for me to be able to sit down and read um read a manga for that long because i'm still dealing with my health issues okay so um not using this as an excuse because i've been dealing with stuff i just didn't know what was going on since like january but you know i'm just now telling you guys like the complete story of what's been going on you know i've been trucking along pushing out reactions and stuff like that and you know dealing with what i was dealing with but i wasn't like you know um really paying attention i never i visited a doctor a couple of times but i think one of the times they couldn't tell you know what i'm saying and for whatever reason man and but anyways Thank you guys so much. I appreciate y'all. I'll see you guys later. Leave a like. Leave a comment. Peace.